Oh my gosh! Look at this! I'm petting the front of a white rhino right now, you guys. Look at that cute little baby. Yes! This is a young one too. This one's not even mature yet. Really? Hello! You guys, anyone who knows me knows that I love to get close to, to animals. I would never in my life have dreamed I would be literally, I'm gonna give her a kiss. <laughs> I just kissed the I just kissed a rhino on the lips. Hello. Oh my gosh. This is so amazing. Yes. Look at those lips. Look at those lips. Yes, I know. You're like a little vacuum cleaner. Look at this. You're such a good mama. These, they're so like rugged, they're fast. This little baby here is, how old? One year old. One year old, she always already weighs over a thousand pounds. When they're nursing, they gain about four pounds a day. Wow. Here comes the big bull. Now, you see all the, yes, 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 I know, yes. Now we're getting ready to go over to the lion's den. We're gonna be feeding the lions in Eagle Cooler. Literally, it's full of cow meat and we've got a GoPro rigged up in it. We're gonna see if they can get into it. But I can tell you right now, the start of our day at Lion Country Safari has been nothing short of amazing. Bye. <laughs> this is insane, gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not a T-Rex. That is a lion. <laughs> How did you come up with this goofy idea? I have no idea, man. <laughs> Prove that the bears can't get into it, otherwise, well, let's step it up a notch. It's uh, coming from Africa. I know these African lions can do some damage. In mm -hmm. fact, uh, you can't see it from here real clear, but that, that truck there got pretty beat up by lions and I wanted to bring my own truck in here. He said, nope, it's gonna eat your tires. Um, did the math on that, that wasn't gonna work out financially very well. Bumpers, tires, uh, no. Nah. I think that cat's basically saying he's taking the cooler home. She's taking the cooler home. This is mine. Hey y'all, welcome to Tasty Tuesday. Aria just got dinner, so now it's Rob's turn to cook mama dinner. Well, as you can see, Sarah's in there. She just got done nursing Aria, and I stopped by the grocery store today, and I picked up a chuck roast from Publix. Check this out. Nice big, it's about two and a half pounds. Nice and thick. It's probably about very close to two inches thick. And to season it, I'm gonna use a little bit of Everglades cactus dust. I'm gonna get that all seasoned up real nice like that and I'm gonna use original Everglades right there this big piece of meat can really use plenty of seasoning just like that the original Everglades has a nice garlic sage herby flavor and the cactus dust has more of a mesquite smoky flavor all right, so now we are gonna take our piece of meat, throw it on the smoker. Mr. Moore, you smell the good food. Look at all the smoke. We're up around 275 degrees, which is perfect. Ooh, look at that. We'll come check on it in an hour. Oh, what are you doing, honey pie? You're all pretty for Tasty Tuesday. Hey, baby Aria. She's sleeping. Look how cute she is. Precious little thing. Alrighty. All right, let's go get our meat off the smoker. Check this out, you guys. Oh. 
Beauty. Oh, that looks so good. Look how nice that is. And I can eat medium rare now. Thank God. So now let me show you real quick how I'm gonna finish this. I've got two layers of, oh man, it's so good. I've got two layers of aluminum foil. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rack this up like that. And pour some, some mushrooms. And then these are some of the sweet uh, baby peppers, the mini sweets, right off Joey's farm. I've got them diced up into quarters. I'm gonna put those on there just like that. Add just a little bit Everglades original. And then I'm just gonna try to seal them all up. I put it back in the smoker. Yep. And now that these are all sealed up. I'm gonna put this back on the smoker for about 15 minutes and that's just gonna lock the steam in. It's gonna cook the vegetables, it's gonna cook the mushrooms. I'm gonna make a little salad and we're gonna be ready to eat. There you go, honey pie. All right, you guys. Well, we're having a blast. It's a little late, but we've been so busy today. I'm getting ready to make an awesome salad, one of our favorites. We're gonna start off, these are just little tomato halves and we'll take a piece of cheese then we can do some avocado and some more cheese. And we just layer it up like that, just like this. Another piece of avocado. Then we'll take some fresh basil, put some fresh basil right on top of it. A little bit of olive oil that our friends Larry Limerick sent us. And then to top it off, we have this is a little balsamic glaze. Just like that. Voila. Finishing touches would be just a little bit of salt. And some fresh cracked pepper. Ooh, look how nice that is. All right, you guys, so. As many parents out there learn along the way, when you got kids, things happen. And everything has taken me longer than I expected. I've had to run errands, help my brother rig baits, run over and pick up a cooler from Paul's house. It's just been nonstop. Now here we are, it's like 9.30 at night. The baby's hungry, so Sarah's feeding again. And I just pulled the meat off the smoker. Check it out. I'm gonna do my best to film this, guys, by myself, guys and guys. Look at this. I'll show you how nice this is. Make sure it's in a, ooh, look at that. So we'll just take some of these peppers and onions right over here. Look at that. And then we can take this piece of meat and just set it right here. Look at all that sauce, look at all that. It's just love and goodness. Let's just cut this right here, just like this. Look how beautiful that is. Tender. I mean, I'm using my left hand. I'm using my left hand to hold the camera and my right hand to slice this meat. It is, I mean, look at the juice just pouring out of it. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely delicioso. One more. Mm. I'll tell you this, guys. You got kids, or if you don't have kids, sometimes in life, you're gonna eat when things aren't exactly hot. You're gonna to have to wait a little while. You're gonna to have to be a little bit patient. This is gonna be awesome, but it's gonna to have to wait. When baby's done feeding, we'll put her to sleep, then we're gonna eat and we'll show you how it is. Baby Aria is asleep with a full belly. 
Lord, I thank you for this day, and I thank you for this food, and I thank you for our strength and for our health. Lord, I thank you for our sweet, precious little baby and all of our many blessings. Please nourish this food to our body and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Mm. Such it's so good. Yeah. <laughs> Smells so stinking good. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> Try the meat. I will. And all this was, it was a relatively inexpensive piece of meat, a chuck roast. It was about two and a half pounds. We're going to have plenty left over tomorrow that I can make sandwiches out of. Fresh peppers and mushrooms with the salad, all good. Mm. And for those of you who are wondering what's in this mug, it's fruit punch. Yeah, oh, not right there, Arizona fruit punch. Now, I hope this uh, came across as good as it was, but today was a very genuine look at our life. Constantly on the move, always trying to bring it together and showing you guys the real look inside our lives. And I did it all with that big old giant busted lip. For any of you who've ever had big sunburnt lips, it's embarrassing and painful. <gasps> but that's all I got to say about that. We keep cutting off. I keep yeah, around. So I had to change around here. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I plan on doing a couple fishing videos this weekend. And uh, as you can tell, I'm very tired. I'm ready to finish this dinner, brush my teeth, and go to bed. Mm -hmm. Please comment, give us a thumbs up, and share it with a friend. We're gone. <laughs>